Hi everyone, it's Deb here from Tiny Deer Vintage and um, just wanted to come on and maybe go through some some old jewelry that I have. Um, yeah, I've been sorting through my stash and um, it's kind of gotten quite substantial. I've had to um, move a couple of times in the past couple of years and um, it's been really tough and so this jewelry kind of got pushed aside so some of it I may have seen already some of it may be part of a lot that I just combined with other others to go through later but um so even though I may have seen it it's probably gonna feel new to me but um, I thought it would be fun to kind of go through and see if there's any treasures in it I think most of this stuff is wearable in these lots um, but I also have been, I'm still unpacking. I've been here for, I won't say how long, but long enough that I should be unpacked. <laughs> but um, anyway, I may have showed this before, but um, I unpacked this a little while ago. It's a, um, I believe this is garden quartz or, um, I forget what the other word is for it right now, but I just love this tower. I love crystals in general and the other night I was at an auction and um, I think it was an auction and someone was showing their um, septarian egg which is what this is it's a septarian egg you can see some of the druzy from the inside that's like black druzy and they showed that these septarian stones are um, fluorescent and I did not know that so I got out my my blue light and sure enough they are and I thought it would be cool to kind of show you what it looks like um I don't know the earth is just amazing right nature okay let's see if we can get some focus on here but look at that it's so cool and when it's completely dark it it's the effect is even better but look at this that's cool wish it was darker in here so you could really see it but anyway I just thought that was cool um, but you know crystals I guess are for another video right but um, I do love them they're spectacular, especially this one. Okay, so let's just dig in and see if we find anything here, right? Um, the hunt is always fun. Oh, let me just show you quick. I found a bag and I just dumped it in this container. I love this, these containers. I found them at um, Savers really cheap and they're nice and flexible and I feel like they're not going to hurt the jewelry. But, um, so, ooh, that was like a sneaky peek. So, let's just kind of dig in. Woo! We have tangles. Oh, this was right on top. Oh, this is sweet. Someone made a keychain. And it's just, like, plastic pony beads. My daughter used to bead with these when she was little. Um... That's a sweet little key ring. Um, I like it. I may use that. Cute. Let's see. What kind of week have you all been having? I know it's only, what, Tuesday? Um, I don't know. I'm losing track of the days lately. But anyway, this is a shell necklace. Um, I don't usually care much for shells, but this one is nice. They're nice and smooth. And then there are, oh, I got to sneeze. <sighs> okay, sorry, went away. It might come back though. You know... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this stuff may be dusty. <laughs> um, cat's eye or fiber optic like little chips 
in between. It's pretty. And yeah, that's a pretty little shell like choker. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what I can free from this pile. This is kind of a honker. It's heavy. Let's see. No markings. Large, like chunky gold tone links, and then we get into some textured, and they kind of get bigger and heavier and more layered. It's in really good condition. It's a wearable piece. Nice. How's the lighting? Is it okay? I don't know, my lighting seems different lately. I don't know what I'm doing differently, but... Okay, so this is a couple of layers. It has a tag right there. I believe that is Premier Design. Yep, Premier Design. Wood, and these are acrylic or plastic. They're pretty. I kind of like these beads. And then these are um, foil glass, I believe you call that. I like these. And the rest is acrylic and wood. Two layers. That's pretty. That's a pretty Premier Designs. I like it. So yeah, so far they are wearable, right? I love these colors. Definitely looks vintage. Sorry, I'm, I kind of, I need more room here, don't I? Yeah, that's a little better. This is pretty. It's all acrylic. And look at that. Why is it that the vintage acrylic is so much nicer than what we have nowadays? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't want to spend a ton of time on it. It has an extender. What does that say? I think it says LC, which would be Liz Claiborne. Is that an LC? Yes, LC. So this is a Liz Claiborne. Pretty colors. It's all acrylic, lightweight, and it's missing a clasp. Is that supposed to go there like that? Well, anyway, it is wearable. It just needs a clasp. I like it. I like the colors. Pretty. Didn't mean to smack it down like that. Sorry about that. Let's see. Here are some vintage faux pearls. And the pearls, too. Like, the older faux pearls knotted in between. Um, I don't know. There just seemed to be so much more attention to detail. This is a little shorty. And it has the extender. Well, geez, I can't imagine wearing it without the extender. You'd have to have quite the tiny neck. But, um, yeah, I can tell this is vintage. Let's see what that says. Does it say Japan? Let me grab my loop. Ooh. Let's see. Maybe I can get it to focus. Nope. Okay. It says Japan. It says Japan. So, it's a sweet little vintage pearl piece. But look at the pearls. They have such a pretty, um, I mean, there's a little wear there. Um, what do you call this when it's pearls? Luster. Look, they have like a, a blue reflecting off them. They're so pretty. They're lightweight, just acrylic, but, but nice. Um, I see a few strands of pearls. Maybe we should 
just do all the pearls for us. These feel heavier. These feel more like glass. They're a little cruddy. They need a bath. Again, look at the color. So pretty and knotted in between. Not too, too old, I don't think. I don't think that says anything on it. Let me take a look quick. These are nice pearls, though. They have really good weight to them. Um, yeah, I don't see any markings on this, but boy, it does need a bath. But these are pretty. Yeah, I see one more strand of pearls, so might as well do those next. As I go through these, I'm pulling out um, like the acrylic um, necklaces, things like that for my mom. Um, going to see her tomorrow, and I thought something that she could slip over her head that's nice weight, I mean, excuse me, lightweight, might be nice for her to feel, to feel special. Um, mom has dementia. It's been hard, but um, I like to um, help her to keep as much um, of her old self as possible and help her to feel pretty and feminine and so um, I'm bringing her things that you know if she loses them or you know they get mixed up with uh, some of the other residents things it's not not a great loss and they do trade and stuff it's really cute they'll sit there with their bags and kind of um, go through and like switch things and trade and ooh, that's doity Yuck. Sorry, didn't mean to have such a reaction. Anyway, these are faux pearls. I'm going to put them aside because they're kind of grossing me out. Um, anyway, it's really sweet. Um, Mom has never worn red lipstick in her life. Um, she's always worn like soft rosy tones or peachy tones. And my sister took her out on Thanksgiving and Mom whipped out um, this bright red lipstick and started putting it on and I don't know, it's kind of cute. <laughs> kind of gross it's someone else's lipstick, but um, kind of cute that they're trading like that. Um, this is acrylic. Look at it's pretty. It's like a deep cranberry color made, I think, to look like stone. It's in good condition. I'm sorry if I'm not showing the stuff that great today. I'm a little distracted, I guess. Oh, it's got some texture on it. This is cute. This is one that I will definitely take to mom. Nice and lightweight. It'll be pretty for her to just slip over her head. Pretty. Uh, let's see. Let's finish this little batch right here. Um, This is interesting. I've never seen these lava rocks in any other color than black. The ones that you can, I guess, put perfume or essential oil on and then there's these little wooden beads cute little bracelet no name but it's good for people who um, have a lot of anxiety um, you can put this especially when it's on your wrist I don't know it's just something about it you can um, lift your hand to your face and and smell it and it kind of um, certain scents, you know, they can kind of calm you down and distract your brain. And yes, I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> um, ooh, I like this piece. That looks like a Sarah Cub chat tag. Ooh, the back's a little corroded, but let's see. Yes, Sarah Cub. I like this chain. I like this, like, bar bar chain and it's in really good condition. A lot of the Sarah Cub stuff I find is not not in great shape. It has these like faux jade tubes. This is pretty. And there's some pearl fur, sorry about that. I like this piece. It needs a little clean. I guess all this stuff does. Okay, shells. Always have to have shells, right? 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Well, we have two of these, so let's let's lay them out. And another shell that I kind of like. Um, let's do this one first. It has these beads. I don't know what these are made of, but they're really pretty. They almost have like a tortoise shell look to them. Let me take a closer look. I don't know what they are. They might just be glass. They're not they're not plastic. Um, let's see what this is. It's just a Christmas tree. Hmm. Maybe someone was selling it at their Christmas bazaar. Little extender. But look at these shell pieces. I like it. I like this one too. Yeah. And then we have this pink one, which I don't like as much. These two are smoother than the shells that you usually see, but not as nice as the brown ones I just showed. Like a cotton candy pink. And a little screw clasp. Yeah, I mean, as shells go, I kind of... The pink one, let's just put that aside. I kind of like these two better. I like this one a lot. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's see. This looks interesting. I have no memory of this, that's for sure. Is this about Coco Pelli? Must be, right? Illustrious Sir Leroy has chosen the Cocopelli as the emblem to be used for Saber Shrine in 1998. The Cocopelli is a good luck symbol of the ancients. Oh, that's cool. Tells you some information about Cocopelli. I won't read the whole thing and keep you here all day. Oh, sweet. Little Cocopelli earrings. I don't think they're sterling or anything. But they're sweet, and I like that they come with the information about them. That, that's really nice. I'll put those together. If you see anything you like, feel free to um, send me an email. Um, what is it? TinyDearVintage at gmail.com. And, um, yeah, I can shoot you a price or something. Like I said, I don't have any prices in mind right now. I'm just seeing this for the maybe first time first time to my brain anyway um, this is pretty that's really pretty pretty statement piece seems to have all of its crystals. These are glass. These aren't plastic, right? They sure feel like glass to me. Yeah, that's glass. Nice gold tone on the chain. No name. Hmm. This is a really nice one. I thought for sure it would be marked. That's cool. It looks like a J. Crew. But it almost seems even nicer than J. Crew to me. What am I doing here? Hello? Hello? Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's really well made. That's cool. I like it. Oh, gosh. Pretty. Ooh, colors. That's a stunning piece. I like it. I like it. Okay. Oh, this looks like maybe it has seen better days. I like the green, what's it called, guilloche enamel on it. I like that green color and I like how it's um, kind of ombre -ed. Right? Maybe it just needs a good wipe down. This is pretty. It seems well made. Right? It looks
looks good. It's kind of funny. It has this blue crystal. I wonder if someone added that to make it easier for them to clasp around their neck. Oh, look, that's sweet. It has the little enamel. I love that attention to detail. Hello. Okay. Pretty. I wipe it down and see if I can get some of the tarnish off of it. Because I like that piece. Pretty, pretty. Uh, we'll save those little packages for after. Let me see. Pull out a few more pieces. And then maybe we will finish this up in another video. I'm kind of like being picky and choosy here. Let's see. Yeah, let's, let's, I was going to say let's get rid of, but let's, let's do this shell one. So that all the shells may hopefully are done. Okay. A few pieces here. I'm going to finish up with these. Okay, this is a shell necklace I could get with. You know, where? <laughs> That's what I mean. Is that dirt? Is it dirty? No, okay. It's very, like, buttery soft. Yeah. I don't know if, if it's a hair puller, but very, very pretty. That's a nice... That's a nicer one. Uh, sorry, that was a bad, bad accent. Oh, he's cute. Is he like really losing his gold there? Or is that the light? Because to my eye, I can't see that, but the camera's seeing it, right? Maybe a little bit of like coppery color coming through. Let me see. Yeah, he's got a, some loss there, but I don't care. I like him anyway. No signature. Pretty gold tone chain. It's in good shape. There's the clasp. It's long. Again, no signature. But he's a good size pendant. Mr. Sun. Oh, does it say something? No, I think those are the, um, you know, astrological symbols. I don't know which one is mine. I like him. I like him. See anything you like? <laughs> okay. This looks old. It's one of the expander bracelets. Mm. Oh, he's not wearable, I don't believe, and I don't know if you can fix that. Oh, okay. This tag looks old. Beyond repair. <laughs> okay. So this one is beyond repair. What a shame. I like it. Well, it'll go into craft. Maybe someone can do something cool with it. Um, I like it. This looks like a J. Crew, doesn't it? Well, let me show you first. Yes. I think these are acrylic. Pretty. Like a mossy green. Right? Green? Yes. Um, this has... Care? Cara. Cara. I don't... I'm not familiar with that... That name. But it's in good condition. It's well made. Nice gold tone on it. pretty. I, I, I'm placing them. I don't know why it sounds like I'm like tossing them. I, 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 I swear I'm not tossing them. <laughs> this is Leah Sophia. Ooh, that's pretty. Inlay. Mother of Pearl, maybe abalone in different colors. That's pretty. This is not... I, I really don't care for for that. Is that what it came on, Leah Sophia? Yes, apparently it did. I would put this on a different chain. That's a beautiful pendant. I like that. Okay. Oh, these are crystals. Yep. 
faceted crystals. They're not AB coated, but they do um, kind of reflect like a prism when the light hits them. Here, let's see. Oh, I never put this light back on. Or this one. Oh my gosh, I've been doing this whole thing in the dark. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I don't know if this is going to be watchable. I'll watch it back and see. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is pretty. No clasp. Very long. I don't know if you could fit it doubled over your head. Yeah, let me try. Nope. Definitely not. It would be nice to wear doubled, but you'd need a clasp for that, right? Pretty. Oh, I don't know what to do now, guys. Hmm. Let me look at these last few things with you, and then um, I'll have to call it a day and see, see what the video looks like. Oh, boy. This, this is pretty. It's a little enamel bangle. It is signed. I can't believe I forgot to put the light back on. Oh my goodness. Trafari. I don't think there's a crown on it. I think it's straight Trafari. Yep. Pretty. It's a pretty bangle. Now let's look at this. Oh, okay. This is like one of those little like, um, they're like bubbles, like little bubble necklaces and look at those colors, ugh. Red and like a pinky purple and a light pink and then this is like a topaz color. That is pretty. Um. Oh, it's a napier. This must be a newer napier, right? I don't know a lot about napier. And here's the little matching earrings. What a pretty little set. I like that. I like the color combo too. Oh, I better put it back together because I can't even be trusted to put the light on when I'm recording. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, we'll see how this ends up looking. That's pretty. I like that Napier set. This just looks like a, a bunch of earrings. I don't know if they're matches. Um, there are these. Why do they have glitter on them? There's glitter everywhere. I wonder if there was glitter in this lot. These, um... I was gonna say they kind of look like they go with that. Not exactly, but let's see if they're marked. Oh, these are marked LCI, which I believe is Liz Claiborne. Pretty brown enamel, uh, lever backs. Well, you get what they are, right? Um, these are little roses, and you wear them. Are those roses? Those are roses, right? <laughs> yes. Maybe my mom would like these. My mother's name is Rose. Rosemary, to be exact. I think I'll give those to mom. Oh, these are pretty. These are sweet. I'll give these to mom, too. She loves blue. Those are pretty. I don't see any mark on them. They make me think of um, Avon earrings. Pretty, those will be pretty on her. Oh, and here's some more flowers. These are tulips, right? And these go upright. Those are cute too. Also, not marked. Nope. Those are pretty. We'll finish up with these. I don't wanna go too long, especially now that I know that most of the video had very dim lighting. Might have to start this all over again. Hmm. 
We shall see. Whoops, I just keep dropping these. Oh, those are sweet. Little enamel drops with the little hearts. Aw, there's a little heart on the top too. Those are sweet. No marks. That I can tell. Yep, no marks. Sweet, wearable. And these are very cute. Are those like 80s? Oof! That is some yellowed glue. There you are. Ceramic. Lightweight though. They're not really like damaged at all. They're not worn. Cute little buttons. Maybe I'll give those to mom too. Alright, so I'm going to stop there for today because I don't know what I did at the beginning of this video. <sighs> um, I will come back and finish this lot. Yeah, you can hear me. It's hard to stop, right? Once you start digging. Um, I saw this and I had to pull it out. Stone. Little tumble stones. So pretty. I like this. I like the colors. Yeah. Okay, so I'll stop there for today. Um, did you have any favorites? Um, I like the crystal. I like the sky. Hmm. One of my favorites, though. Hey. Hmm. I like this piece. This piece is well done. I don't usually care that much for these types of pieces, but I like this one for some reason. Um, oh, I really like this Sarah Coventry. This one I may have to do a catch and release with. I like this. Pretty. Um, I like this piece too. <laughs> I like these pearls. All right, I'll stop there. Um, let me know what your favorites are. And like I said, feel free to reach out to me at um, tinydearvintage at gmail.com and comment below if you would like to see more videos like this. Um, please uh, subscribe and hit the like button and I'll be able to make more like this uh, going forward. Thanks for being here and spending time with me, and I hope you have a wonderful day. See you soon. Bye.